History paper in college on Corelli and his advancement of the Concerto Grosso. Oh, wow. It was no. such a fun project. Our violin professor at my university he wrote his entire dissertation on a survey of all Corelli violin concertos. Now, I think there's only like two of them, so it's like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> run out of time. <laughs> 
Feeling it in four? No. Are you yeah. talking about G? Four. Yeah, G. Number, number nine. Number twelve. Number twelve. I'm just gonna. Um, uh, I guess that's the first inning. I'm just gonna follow you. A nod. Yeah, just repeat. Okay. Keep repeating. Okay. Mine is before. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna okay. straight up follow you the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. is it in D major? Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna. We got Tom ready. We got Tom ready. Would everyone please stand for the processional and remain standing?
I declare the commencement of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education convened. Please remain standing for the national anthem featuring Don Bailey, Associate Professor of Music, Director of Jazz Studies at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome to the 2022 commencement ceremony. I'm Kyle Parker, president and CEO of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. And I want to begin with a huge thank you to the University of Arkansas here in Fort Smith to specifically to Chancellor Teresa Riley and the UAFS staff for the use of this wonderful arena. To welcome all of you in person this year truly moves me. Goodness gracious, what a crowd. To say the least, the last couple of years have been challenging is an understatement. And nobody felt that stress more than these resilient graduates. But graduates, you know that you didn't arrive here on your own. Take a minute to show your appreciation to your supporters, the family members and friends that have filled this arena to celebrate you. Just stand up and tell them you love them. Come on students, get up. Okay, you can sit back now. Also on behalf of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education Board of Trustees, the faculty and staff, I welcome all of you to Fort Smith, Arkansas. Graduates, you made it. In just a few minutes, you'll, you're gonna cross this stage and gain a new title and I have the privilege of shaking your hand as you reach this goal. But the hard work, that was you. 
The love, care, and compassion was shared among many, but the hard work, you did it. Because you study, your time was limited with your family. But because you studied and persevered, today is the day that celebrates your dedication and commitment. I challenge each of you to continue to pursue your dreams and know that you will always be a part of the Ake family. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform party. And platform party, please stand when I call your name. And please hold all applause until the end. Dr. Cole Goodman, Chair of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education Board of Trustees. Mr. Mike Carroll, Vice Chair of the Arkansas College of Health Education Board of Trustees. Dr. Jim Turner, Senior Vice President to the, to the President and CEO. Dr. Rance McLean, Dean of the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Kenneth Hensley, Master of Science in Biomedicine Program Director. Mrs. Laurel McIntosh, Senior Assistant Dean of Student Affairs. The ARCOM Class of 2022, SAFE, Eldon Farug. The MSB Class of 2022 President, Nancy Snell. Platform Party, be seated. I would also like to give a special recognition to the Ake Board of Trustees who provided the support, guidance, and vision that contributes to the success of our institution. And now I'd like to present Dr. Cole Goodman. Good morning. On behalf of the Ake Board of Trustees, it's my privilege and honor to welcome all of you to these commencement ceremonies. To the families and friends gathered here, I'd like to thank you on behalf of the Board of Trustees for trusting us with your loved one to teach them what they need to do in this educational process. To our exceptional faculty, thank you all for challenging these students to reach the goals that they have set. For the staff and the, of, of, of the administration at AIC, I thank you. And for the very hardworking staff that never tirelessly complains, all this stuff here didn't just happen because we said it was going to. We need to thank them and I'd say thank them. Graduates, you've put in many hours. You've persevered through a lot of different things, which I won't go into. I think Dr. Farug is going to touch on that. But you've demonstrated that you have the ability to adjust and persist while facing tremendous challenges. Today is your day. I would like to ask you, though, to consider something as you go forward. It's a quote from Portia in The Merchant of Venice, written by William Shakespeare. It states, the quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth like the gentle rain from heaven above to the place below. Twice it blesses those that receive and those that give. Again, today is your day. Be proud, go forth, rejoice, and celebrate. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Safe. Pardon me, that's a little premature. Safe, Eldon Farug. Good morning, student doctors, for the last time. Hi, my name is Safe Eldon Farug, and I've had the pleasure of serving as the class president for the past what's felt like seven years. This is the last time in a while that I'm going to have a captive audience, so I hope everybody has snacks. You got some water, it's, it's gonna be a bit. It's amazing to be here at this point and to be able to look out at the faces of my peers and their loved ones and the support system that got them through here. Everyone in this room has sacrificed innumerable events and time and to achieve and help their loved one achieve this degree. It feels like a surreal moment 
I still don't believe that this is happening right now. When we first started, a faculty member compared medical education to being on a plane. However, he failed to mention that it was flight 121 from snakes on a plane. <laughs> I can only imagine what Samuel Jackson would say about our TBLs and countless quizzes. As we all know, these past few years have been a heavy bunch. We persevered through a pandemic, political tension, and worst of all, the great Chick-fil-A sauce shortage of 2020. How do we survive? This class has always been a catalyst for change. No task was too great for us to handle. Everyone advocated for what they felt was right. We banded together to call for change on campus when we came upon circumstances that were not beneficial to our common goal. We worked to make this environment as welcoming and wholesome as possible. Now I implore all of you to carry that same passion onto your new programs. Show them that the class of 2022 does not back down and will always fight alongside each other for the greater good. We most certainly have come a long way from the days of asking what the lab attire is going to be or if we had free food at the event. And for the loved ones in the attendance and the audience, thank you for your support. You earned this degree as much as we have with your constant uplifting comments and nurture. To the faculty and staff of ARCOM, thank you for being our cheer squad. We'll never forget the hard work that the offices around campus put in. And I want to call out OSA specifically for always making sure that the environment was fun and exciting when possible. Well, without a doubt, remember you all in therapy. And all joking aside, I just want to remind us all of a few vital points. We have an obligation to fight for our patients. With the current climate, we can't idly sit by and watch as laws are repelled or enacted to limit the scope of care we can offer. I understand that some may not be comfortable offering certain treatments, but, physician, but as physicians, we can only guide. The final choice rests with the patient. Remember to always employ the ethical principle of autonomy. Being a physician is being in a privileged position. Never underestimate that privilege or squander the role that we now serve. Don't just speak for the voiceless or oppressed, but also give them the tools to take control and stand up for their rights. We've entered a field that is weaved with the most vital of choices. Each decision will have long-term ramifications. Physicians are human, and as such, we are not perfect. Medicine doesn't need us to be perfect. Our patients don't demand that we be perfect. Instead, we must be open-minded and humble. Let's understand our limitations and strive to do right by those who entrust us with their lives. As was repeatedly noted over the past several years, we don't know everything. Med school can never teach us everything. There's just too many going on. I, don't, I, don't, I forgot the number of bones. Instead, we have to be taught on how to think critically and search for the best options available to offer. And that's what this program has done for us. I'm immensely proud of being a part of this class. You've all shown me what resilience, courtesy, and bravery look like. Each and every member got up and pursued this goal every, goal every day. Some days we ran, and other days we were dragged. But we finally made it. I hope we all look back at these years and cherish the moments. And just because we aren't suffering through a TBL or trying to figure out how to get the most points during our sim labs doesn't mean we aren't always going to be connected. Being back these past few days and seeing everyone, it's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, I'm happy for all of us to have reached the goal, but I'm sad that we're going to part ways. I'm looking forward to hearing all about the great things that my peers have accomplished at our 10-year reunion put it in your calendars now, 10 years from today, I hope. These bright faces in front of me will be the change that medicine is so desperately in need of. Don't forget where you started. When we undoubtedly begin to teach students, keep in mind how you felt when you had to care for your education, when you had someone care for your education. If you had to suffer through unpleasantness, don't put the same experience on your students, just because that's how you were taught. Break the negative and build the positive. In addition, I beg each of you not to become a statistic. Please care for yourself just as you are expected to care for so many others. Never try to pour from an empty cup. Keep the passion alive that drove you to succeed at ARCOM. Class of 22, Mama D used to call us learners, but now doctors, prepare for your encounter. And with that, I'd like to turn the mic over to the Class of 2022 Master's Class uh, President, Nancy Snell. Hello everyone, my name is Nancy Snell and I am the MSB class president of the graduating class of 2022. 
It has been a privilege to serve in this position this past year, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to highlight what the MSB experience has meant to our class. I first want to welcome and thank everyone here in attendance, because this commencement isn't just about celebrating the graduates and their impressive accomplishments, but it's also a time to celebrate and acknowledge the support systems that have helped each one of us make it to this pivotal point in our education. Whether that be family members, friends, professors, or any of the AIC faculty, the endless support you guys have shown us is a major reason we get to walk across the stage today and receive our master's degree. So graduates, with that being said, I encourage you to reflect on the assistance and support you've received during your time here at AIC and make sure you let those particular people know how much you've appreciated them. Dr. Hensley and Mrs. Robinson, I'd like to take this moment to say a special thanks to you both. You helped our, you've helped our whole class by guiding us during the application process, encouraging us to overcome adversity, and ultimately helping us realize the potential we all hold. I think my classmates will agree with me when I say that we've learned more than we could have ever imagined in just this one year. While the knowledge we've acquired in the classroom has been quite extensive, I believe some of the greatest lessons this program has taught us aren't simply that objective. We've learned how to overcome obstacles and embrace our failures. We all remember a time during this year when we scored lower than we had preferred to on an exam. But we had to keep looking forward and learn from those mistakes. And that mentality has gotten us to where we are today. We've realized that the fear of failure should never hold us back from pursuing something we want to do. And that we truly are capable of doing whatever we desire as long as we put in the work. We've learned that rigorous programs like this one can't be done alone. It takes a group effort and a certain degree of vulnerability. But even though we leaned on one another as classmates, we quickly learned that comparing ourselves would only cause us harm, and that our only true competition was and always will be ourselves. We've learned how to manage our time better and figure out which study habits work for us and which ones don't. And because of this program, we've gained clarity as to why we want to get into healthcare and continue to pursue our career goals. But even more importantly, completing this degree has shown us that we are skilled enough to be successful students at the next level of education, such as medical school, which the majority of our class strives to do. And because of all of this personal growth, I believe that we were exactly where we needed to be this past year. No matter where we all end up after this program, we now know that we have new lifelong friends and skills that'll help us accomplish whichever path we decide to take next. So here's to the MSB class of 2022. Congratulations, we did it. And I am pleased to welcome Dr. Jim Turner. I've been given the great honor of explaining the tradition of the hooding ceremony and the meaning of the cords worn by some of our graduates today. The hooding ceremony dates back to the 12th century and sets those completing master's and terminal degree programs apart from others. The placing of the hood over the head of the graduate signifies the successful completion of their program. The Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine graduates will be hooded by Dr. Rance McLean, the Dean of the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine, or by a physician in their immediate family. The MSB graduates be, will be hooded by Dr. Kenneth Hensley, program director. The cords and tassels is a tradition that dates back to the 14th century and is awarded to graduates for a variety of achievements. Crimson and gold cords are worn by medical student members of Sigma Sigma Phi, which is the National Osteopathic Medical Honors Fraternity, recognizing scholastic excellence and community service. Gold cords are worn by the medical student members of the Gold Humanitarian Honor Society. Uh, this society recognizes senior medical students, residents, and role model physicians. The members are peer nominated and are recognized for their excellence in clinical care, leadership, compassion, and dedication to service. Red, white, and blue cords are worn by the graduates who have or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces. We're, we are proud to recognize these students and honor these traditions. Thank you.
Candidates for the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, please rise and remain standing. President Parker, it is my honor to present the candidates for conferral Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Candidates for the Master of Science in Biomedicine, please rise. President Parker, it is my honor to present the candidates for conferral of Master of Science in Biomedicine. Upon the favorable recommendation of the faculty and the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree earned with all of its rights, privileges appertaining thereto. Candidates, you may be seated. Okay, here to the box. I'm over here. Good morning. We ask that guests please stay in their seats as we have professional photographers taking photos of each graduate. Graduates, please stay seated until the marshal has signaled you to move toward the stage. Faculty marshals, please begin ushering the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine graduates, beginning with the first row. Safe. Eldin Samir Farug. Angel Chevalier. Emily Louise Hudspeth. <laughs> Natalie Francine DeWitt. <laughs> Timothy Hunter Stalker Downing. Alexander L. Britton. <laughs> Sophia L. Cherry McMurray. <laughs> Priya Sandarajan. Preeti Raju. John Thomas Foster, Jr. Pam Medavian. Catherine Hand. <laughs> Ashley Eileen Randolph. <laughs> Megan N. Waters. Michelle B. Ammerman. <laughs> Chatushki Bandara. <laughs> 
Serena Kaur China. Lauren Cruz, hooded by her grandfather, Jeff Hondrick Dio. Javier Andre Ramirez. <laughs> Emily Colin Mounts. <laughs> Peyton Elaine Hartman. Khadija Hamid. <laughs> Shuyin Zhang. <laughs> Ajina Deneen Haas. Shailette Mukasa. <laughs> ben Quach, hooded by his father, Hong Te Quach, MD. Rachel J. Ackerman. Lauren Ashley Griffin. Mallory Howard. Hannah Fortney Shikalian. <laughs> Keaton James Fletcher. <laughs> Seth Earl Baird. Amanda Lee McMillan. Cody Blackstone. Essen Khan. Hooded by his fiance, Nisha Panchani, MD. Christopher Ray Bays. Anisha S. Patel.
Alan Holder. Zad Irfan Shah, hooded by his father, Irfan Shah, MD. Monica Shaw. Caitlin Elizabeth Bowman, hooded by her husband, Robert Bowman, D.O. Ibrahim Najmuddin Karimji. Joshian Hu. Ed Rizal. Mohammed Mushtaq. Sylvia S. Novakova. Garrett Wayne Spradley. Kayla Dawn Spradley. Angela Marie Kyo. Charles Winston Whitaker. Robert Dale Garner. Adam Muhammad Kutak. Tana Becker Sievert, hooded by her father, Richard Becker Dio. <laughs> Tatiana Lucia Westfall. Hirsch K. Patel. <laughs> Veshnavi Gadasharla. Smith Patel. Mm -hmm. 
Lauren Elizabeth Landwehr, hooded by her father, Lawrence Landwehr, MD. Haley Suzanne Bloomfelder. Richard Corey Inslee. <laughs> Alyssa Taylor Ross. Caroline Jordan Tomanek, hooded by her mother, Joan Tomanek, MD. Bridget Venegas. Andrew David Sagalov. Abhishek Valeri. Christopher Von Tunglen. Lauren Elizabeth Parmley. Morgan Deanne Duclos. Seswat Doss. <laughs> Connor Brennan Rudnicki. Christian A. Ratzliff. Reed William McCullough. Caleb O'Connor Lennington Bauman. Edward Oliver Hancock, hooded by his sister, Addie Hancock, D.O. Garrett Michael Neil De Palma. <laughs> Laura Michelle Dandridge. <laughs> P 
Paige Van Steckelman. Amanda May LaCroix. Rebecca Don Campos. Savannah Lynn Phillips. Lucas Wesley Tibbs. Christian Matthew Meeks. John R. Bowers, hooded by his father, Cole Goodman, MD. Trent Martin Rowe, Jr. William Cole Conley, hooded by his father, J. Conley, M.D. Mitsu Bueno. Horace Russell Haynes, Jr. <laughs> Catherine Sudi. <laughs> Miriam Zohar Khan. Aliza Kamar. Michelle Washuku. Cherish Corinthian Ford. Juan Pablo Maruvia Garon. Lenz Placid. Joshua Gaunt, hooded by his mother and brother, Alice Redinger Dio and James Gaunt Dio.
Garrett Daniel Snell. Chase Sorrells. Weston P. Schott. Kayla Julaine Bird. Quade C. Robertson. Daniel Michael McKenzie, hooded by his father, Larry McKenzie, D.O. <laughs> Tiffany T. Lee. Evan Kwok. Victoria Furlong Servine, hooded by her parents, Victoria Servine, MD, and Joseph B. Furlong, MD. <laughs> Mindy Yang Hong Pham. Joanna Tran Huynh. Marianne Christine Cipriano Padolina, hooded by her father, Dave Padolina, MD. Alan Matthew Eckler. Wasim Mohammed Washuri. William T. Fisher V, hooded by his mother and father, Marilyn Fisher, M.D., and William Fisher, M.D. <laughs> Jefferson Connor Thompson. Sawyer Sparks. <laughs> Kyle Stroda. <laughs> Christopher Alexander Beliga.
Amanda Lauren Terdost. Sean Thomas Spellman. Marae Lisa Sheck Snyder. Alexander Adele Milati, hooded by his father, Adele Milati, MD. Paulina Christiana Blanc, hooded by her father, Michael Blanc, MD. <laughs> Carlin Hill, hooded by her brother, Eric Hyman, DO. Caitlin Avery Maine. Jonathan M. Hunter. Brooke Alexis Hunter. Catherine Rose Glover. Grace Alexandria Schrader. Syra Fozzi, hooded by her sister, Miriam Hassan Dio. <laughs> Tyler Joe William Collier. Krista Super, hooded by her sister, Maria Super, Dio. <laughs> Myrna Ahab Shukri. Jessica Lee Nix. Zachary Tyler Pierce. Julia Rose Hafner. Sanjana Venegupal Jarrett. Woo! 
Charishma Bimaneni. Ali Ann Quickle. <laughs> Caleb Henry Cotner. Lindsay Meredith Harrison. Adam Frankham. Ariana Mary Palermini. Linda Wong. Rebecca Sook. Deva Lee Depuk Zemzo. Catherine Elizabeth Buell. Savannah Wilkinson. Amanda May Huffman. <laughs> Harley Taylor Ramsey. Congratulations, doctors. Faculty marshals, please usher the Master of Science in Biomedicine graduates. Nancy Elaine Snell. Nico M. Tegel.
Lucas Alexander Brown. Claire Ahmad Aziz. Calvin Abbott. Tarun Reddy. Guillaume Alexander Ducharme. Kayla Renee Plummer. Natalie Ann Ryan. Sarah Catherine Schmitz. Weston Cole James. Emily Games. Kristen Elena Blunt. Cade Riley Winfrey. <laughs> Daniel Alexander Krasenkas II. Brock Morgan. Tubi Yang. Kevin Lewis. Eric Alexander Monhe. Septimu Christian Demeter. Mahati Golapudi. Kamal Abbas. Amina Khan. Aisha Khan. <laughs> Muhammad Imran Khan. <laughs> Omer Khan. Saad Mohammed Salim. <laughs> David Andrew Dundee. Kyle Hirsch. Go, Kyle! Andrew
Andrew Colin Nisnik. Ganesh Kumar. Victor Manuel Carvajal. Jason Rodriguez. Winston Zhang. Paula Rusi. Savannah Angeline Harmanian. Congratulations, MSB graduates. Good morning again, everyone. There are a few honors that an osteopathic physician can do that go above and beyond others. And one of the highest is to administer the osteopathic oath to our new doctors of osteopathic medicine. And I am honored to be able to do this and humbled to be able to do this as your dean. So to my graduates, thank you to each and every one of you for allowing me to be in this position and serve each and every one of you. Doctors of Osteopathic Medicine, please stand. And we will recite the oath together as Doctors of Osteopathic Medicine. And I also ask that any DOs who are in attendance feel free to stand as well and recite the Osteopathic Oath with us. It is located in your program. I do hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession I am about to enter Keep going, guys, with me. We're all colleagues now. I will be mindful always of my great responsibility to preserve the health and life of my patients, to retain their confidence and respect, both as a physician and a friend, who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity, and to perform faithfully my professional duties to employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment and with my skill and ability, keeping in mind always nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. I will be ever vigilant in aiding in the general welfare of the community, sustaining its laws and institutions, not engaging in those practices which will in any way bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. I will give no drugs for deadly purposes to any person, though it be asked of me. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues in the spirit of progressive cooperation and never by word or by act cast imputations upon them or their rightful practices. I will look with respect and esteem upon all those who have taught me my art. To my college, I will be loyal and strive always for its best interests and for the interests of the students who will come after me. I will be ever alert to further the application of basic biologic truths to the healing arts and to develop, or develop the principles of osteopathy which were first enunciated by Andrew Taylor Still. Doctors, 
You may be seated. Congratulations, graduates, family, friends, administration, and staff. I am Colonel Kevin Kaler and a full-time practicing family physician in Tupelo, Mississippi. I've been a member of the Arkansas Army National Guard for 27 years, and I'm currently the commander of the Arkansas Army National Guard Medical Readiness Detachment, and I serve as the state surgeon for the Arkansas Army National Guard. It's my distinct honor today to swear in, as medical officers, five very impressive individuals into the United States Army and United States Navy Medical Corps. Not only have these individuals agreed to serve their fellow humans as doctors, to care for their medical needs, but they have, and I stress, they have volunteered to enter into military service, to care for our nation's military warriors. One of the reasons that our young men and women who wear a military uniform so willingly enter the fight in faraway land is because they understand that our finest doctors will be right there beside them in forward deployed locations to take care of them. These five individuals are less than 1% of the population of the United States who volunteer to wear the uniform. Please give them a round of applause. Please be seated. Will you please join me in welcoming to the stage officers in the United States Army? Dr. Alexander Britton, Captain, United States Army. Dr. Emily Hudspeth, Captain, United States Army. Dr. Angel Chevalier, Captain, United States Army. Dr. Timothy Stocker Downing, Captain, United States Army. At this time, please join me in welcoming to the stage an officer of the United States Navy. Dr. Natalie DeWitt, Lieutenant, United States Navy. <laughs> Group, right face. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name. Having been appointed an officer in the Armed Forces of the United States, having been appointed an officer in the Armed Forces of the United States, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations, officers.
I bring you a warm welcome from the Ake Alumni Association, and I'm honored to congratulate you on this momentous accomplishment and to officially welcome you into the Ake Alumni family. You are now part of the we, and we want you to stay in touch with us, both professionally, personally. We want to connect you with other alumni and be a source of information and help to you in the future. Whether it is your dream job or on to complete your dream residency, I wish you much success as you move forward into your next phase. And don't forget to take us with you on your journey. Thank you. Congratulations again to those that just got their master's degree as well as those that just got their doctorate. To say that I'm a little bit proud would be an understatement. What you went through as DOs when the world shut down because of COVID and what you dealt with when it reopened because of COVID and the utilization of the technology Thank goodness that we had to be able to persevere and move forward. And for you to blow away the match rate compared to the rest of the nation says an awful lot about who you are, how you're built. And I couldn't be prouder. to the master students, some of which I think are coming right on into ARCOM next year. Others are pursuing other schools, physical therapy, occupational therapy, et cetera, et cetera. Don't forget you're a part of this family. We want you to remain a part of this family. I promised you, as a master student, the hardest year of your life, and I promised you, as an osteopathic physician, the hardest four years of your life. From three to five years from now, our osteopathic graduates are going to enter into the workforce, making a difference every day in human lives. That's the reason that the Arkansas College of Health Education Board of Trustees created these health institution and program schools. We will continue to make a difference for the benefit of all and day by day follow our mission. This hereby concludes the 2022 commencement ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. Everyone, if you would, please stand and remain standing for the recessional. Thank you. 